What is going on guys, DBG here, and I am just sick of this game already. This is episode four of the No Money Spent series. I'm gonna have to reset my team unlimited. I actually did lose a game at two and one. I lost the game because I was up eight points with two minutes to go. So what did my opponent decide to do? He decided to just pack the key with um, Sean Bradley, which I'm like, fair enough, you can do that. That's perfectly fine. But I've got a shooter. I've got Isaiah Hartenstein, who has got a three point rating of 81. Did he hit a single three? No, 0 of five. Then the last possession of the game, I subbed him out, I put in Miles Turner, who's got a, probably a bit of a better release in 79 on shot three. Miles Turner, 0 of two. It's a two point game, I'm two points down with four seconds to go, and this happens. Like, I'm not even lying, like, literally, this goes and happens, and I am, um, can't even control my player for a second and a half. So instead of trying to get the inbound steal, I end up losing a second, well, more than a second, letting them get the ball, and suddenly they can get to the free throw line with a chance to ice the game. So I have no chance of stealing the ball because the game literally went into a cutscene. So you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I've got a lot of tokens, so I'm gonna spend some of them on some meta players. Because the meta this year, as I always say, adapt or die. So, I'm trying to think who's good. I still don't have. Um, suppose she show cheese good and I don't have my PS4 account I might as well pick him up so he's not too bad um, Steve Curry is garbage he is straight garbage um, so supposedly Bayless is good so I'm gonna pick him up I gotta say he is decent of speed and supposedly he's a really nice jump shot any other really tall players that I can use uh, Theo Ratliff has a high block rating. What's Joe Smith like? 6'10 power forward. 62-3. That doesn't matter, that is it. Scalabrini is going to be garbage. Uh, let's just put in... Is they going have two positions? Just so that they're a little bit more versatile. So that I can use them a little more. No, no one left with two positions. So the power forward position is garbage. So I'm going to just go and take Brian Scalabrini for the, for the meme. For the, you know, I put him in the squad and tile that one of my videos. I've used the GOAT. But uh, now we're on to the Sapphire Woods. And this is where we get meta. So, and no, I don't mean meta world peace or on our test. This is where we get Mira-san. This is where we put the seven foot seven giant who is the best card in this game. Like what? Like why is he so OP? And then, can Leitner shoot? Because my power forward position is really bad right now. Three point shot, 68. It's possible. He can rebound. Does he have a post game? Yeah, he's got a post game at a good enough shot close. Or I can use a 6'11 small or 6'10 small for a coup coach. Is he he's slow though? Yeah, he's really slow. Or I've got Iguodala, who while he doesn't have the best ratings, he's got he's slow as hell though. Oh my god. I was gonna pick up Iguodala because he's got quick draw as well. Um, oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one for who to use with my next six tokens. I really this game, I'm probably gonna get 20 tokens by the end of the day anyway. So I'm gonna go for another 12 and over run once I finish this gameplay. Um, can Robert pack Rimmer? So he's got stop and go, which is good. Please give him quick first step. He's a giant slayer. Give him quick first step. He got quick first step, okay. So he, I assume he has downhill as well. Stop and go, quick first step. No downhill, really. Got pogo stick, though. Okay, let's see what his ratings are. Three-point shot is possible. 88 driving dunk. Good ball handling stats. to see his speed. 84. He might be a good rim runner, so I'm going to put him in the squad. I'm going to replace a guy who do like Bob Sura. Uh, who do I prefer, Sura or Simons? Actually, yeah, I prefer Sura to Simons. So. Also, we got a little bit of MT. Because again, we did go 11 and one, which is where we got all those tokens from. And we also, I'm um, gonna send it to my auctions back there. So Jordan Bell and the Siakam who we picked up for like 2000 yesterday, we managed to get 4,700 for him. So that's not bad at all. So let's see what our team's looking like now and see what players we need. So replace Afrini Simons with Robert Pack. Replace Miles Turner with Mirasan. Replace Dwight Powell with Another giant in Sean Bradley. Let's 
let's see the power forward position we are still struggling oh i didn't actually take leitner okay so okay so i need another power forward um i'm trying to think i've got 22k is there anything that i do want for that price so I'll, i'm gonna have a look power forward color ruby there's only one isn't there yeah i don't want haslam sapphire Eight thousand for Porzingis. Not a bad shout. Supposedly he's not great though this year. See small forwards to go to power forward maybe. Ooh Simmons could be interesting. I don't really want to buy him. Power forward position just is not great though, is it? I like, get really isn't great. See rubies. You're right, no ruby small forwards in the game. Start with Duncan's going for 70k. He is way too expensive. All these cards are ass, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna replace. There's just not even that many good ones. There's Kata Bates Diop, who I'm probably going to use. Ugh. He doesn't have the badges yet to compete. And he has the stupid steady shooter badge that makes players worse shooters. But I might end up putting in Bates Diop. I'm gonna replace Luke. Uh, who I'm not even going to pronounce his second name because I can't pronounce it. Kennard, Kennard, Kennard. It's spelled Kennard, so and that's why I've been saying it, but apparently that's wrong. So I'm going to replace him with Terence Ferguson. And I'm going to put in, let's see, small forwards. I'm going to put in Denzel Valentine off the bench, just so that we've got some good enough players. And like shooting doesn't matter anyway, so we've got the team meta here anyway. So we've got Rose at the point, Ronnie, uh, Lonnie Walker to two, Terrence Ferguson to three, Ojale at the four, and Miras at the five, the Robert Pack, Musa, Denzel Valentine, Nemanja Bialica, Sean Bradley, Bob Sir, Isaiah Ryder, and Isaiah Hartenstein. Or Hartenstein. So yeah, this is not a bad team by any means. So yeah, now let's get on to the game. All right, playing John Wall, Vince Carter, Terrence Ferguson, Blake, and Shaq. So not a bad team right here, and luckily enough, he's not I was gonna say, look, he's not using a, start, a shooting center. There's no shooting centers realistically in this game. All right, as always, the first thing you should do is change your freelances to Bucks 2018. I might go and use the Warriors one because the Warriors has your post player getting into better positions and also seven seconds or less, which is good for pick and rolls. I'm gonna start off the Bucks and see how I get on, but I'm gonna, I might switch to the Warriors if that's not working. Like what that, why does Mirasan so good? Like, no way should Mirasan be pulling on those type of post moves. But he's just so big that he's just glitchy and there's nothing they can do. So just plant him in the key and sit in the zone. Good job, Walker. Let's go, let's push it. To the basket, easy dunk. This is like, the funny thing is like, my record in this game is pretty good. Like it is pretty good. I think I've lost since obviously the first day or so when you don't know what you're doing doesn't really count. But in the last two or three days, I'm like 22 and two, which is, or I'm like 25 and two, sorry, which is a good record. Like, like it's not like TJ, Tyler, Debo, Splash. Like I'm not like one of those elite, elite players, but I, when 90% of the games are close to it, it's still a good record. But that's the thing. It's just, I have not had fun one minute playing this game. And it's not like I'm like I'm not a superstar at it, but I'm not bad at all at it. People are like, oh, you just hate this game because you're bad at it. Like I have a better record in this game than I had for most of the year in 2K19. But I just don't enjoy playing it. Wow, fun. The right stick is non-existent right now. You literally just have to turbo and blow by. Alright, so at least try to get some baits, some good reads. I can have fun playing defense, maybe. All right, get there, get there, get there. Ooh, that's a bad pass. Spin in, easy finish. Again, those are the type of layups that'll go in. Even if Vince had jumped on that and nearly swatted the ball, it'd be like 10% covered. But yet, open jumpers, just like that. That was a bad shot there. And of course, we get the ball. I actually do like Semi Ojale. He gets a ton of block or a ton of rebounds from me, even though he's got terrible rebounding ratings. Good, great foul right there. That was a really good foul. Tory Craig, he's actually one of the players I haven't um, evoed, so I might try and do that. Supposedly he's good evoed, but his like Emerald's one of the worst evo cards I've used, so I just haven't even bothered uh, upgrading him. Okay, why, I shouldn't have used that screen. So I let Shaq come down, but the arrow is actually too fast. One thing, I'm not gonna lie, the fact that the blow-bys only really happen with point guards, 
I actually do like that point guards are more usable, but it's gone from point guards are unusable to point guards only meta. This is like 2K13 all over again, when people were just rim running with uh, Robert Pack. I like, literally back to those days where you could just rim run with anybody. And like, people are like too nostalgic. And like, even with Zach Levine, 2K15, people are too nostalgic being like, oh, we want the gameplay back like that. No, you don't. You don't remember that you literally turbo to the basket with Zach Levine and you did, like, this is basically Hysteria Crows. You turbo and dunked on everybody every single time. People don't realize how much we hated the gameplay of 2K15 back in the day. I think 2K19 with um, position locks as well as the um, point guards being more useful, like the guy this year, would have been really, really good. Like that type of thing. Like I wasn't a fan of position locks, but I don't mind. Like I'm not a fan of them, but I do think they improve gameplay slightly. I just am the fan of them because I think eventually we're gonna start getting things like point guard Yanis that are just gonna to be too OP. That's the only reason I'm against position locks. I'm good with it other than that. I'm good with the actual concept of position locks. If they base position locks on height, I'd be fine with it. Okay, put it up. Good job there, Gross. Good job waiting there for Gobert to jump. I like finishing, I like point guards finishing inside. Although I do think that this type of uh, game, once we start to get some really OP, like two guards, small forwards with these badges, could be very, very bad with this finishing. Again, as close to a full, as close to green as possible, you know for a fact it's not going in. Like if you want to make jump shots that aren't greens, you got to release them badly. Like full whites go in at a lower rate than half bars. So if you guys want to make jump shots and you're struggling greening, just half bars. It'll still go in at a fairly high rate. But they've done enough things right in the game that I think just adjusting the sliders, I think if you literally adjust the jump shot sliders, and I don't mean like make it like 2K19 OP, but adjust them slightly, adjust them very slightly, and the game becomes semi, the game becomes decent. Because it stops the whole rim running is everything meta, because people can't shoot. I think after this episode, I'm gonna turn off the shot meter, because I know for a fact, a lot of people are saying if you take the shot meter off, it actually becomes way, way easier to shoot. So I'm gonna start trying to do that. We got him. Nice finish there, grab our pack. That's open. That is literally as close to green as possible. I have, I genuinely think you make one out of 20 of those releases, so that is a miracle. Ones that are that close to being green. There we go, nice finish by Robert Pack. That was nice, like the off-footed scoop layup. That was actually a really nice finish. I like those animations. I really like those animations. We got the blow by to the basket, easy knock there by Pack. All right, Robert Pack's doing well. He's a little bit smaller than Sura. And uh, like Sarah probably is gonna play most, if not all, the third quarter. Why are you spotting up? How did you green that? But why are you spotting up near the halfway line? How the hell, like, how did I green that shot? Why is Bradley so fast? Oh my God, why is he so fast? He is so fast. But like, that's my team this year. It's rim running, turbo, with big or with giants at center. Like Shaq is fairly good to use a center as well, just because he's such a big body and so wide. Yeah, I think this guy, I'm not even sure if this guy's playing anymore. Clank, of course it's a clank. That's an almost, that's a full white, that's a clank. Got him. Easy finish there by Sarah, let's go. He's come in and made an impact. And I, I always say it's like, oh, he comes in and makes an impact. Of course he is, he's a rim runner. That's literally what you need. Rim runners are always gonna make impact, a big impact in the game. Nice dunk there by Ferguson. As a 27 point lead, and that is by looks of it a rage quit. Easy, easy win there. So anyway, that is the video. A big, Sean Bradley Mirsan made such a big difference in that game. Like, yeah, it's the meta. It's an unfortunate truth with the meta because I like, and as much as people are like, oh, I'm a cheeser. I like running with spacing. I like driving and kicking to shooters, which is bas which is basketball. That is real basketball now. Real basketball isn't running all these set plays. Real basketball is simple. If you've got one player that can go by somebody, you go by them, you drive and you kick to shooters. They close out too hard, you drive to the basket. That's more sim basketball than whatever the hell 2K20 is. But uh, yeah, so we did put in two giants and we did find what is another kind of hidden gem rim runner in Robert Pack. So 
Again, all you really need in my team is some guys that can shoot the ball competently well. But guys, you have their releases down, you need some rim runners, and then you need giant guys in the center position. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. This is episode four of the No Money Spent series, four in five days. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.